Trevor Madan here from Measure discussing the Apple iOS 14 update and what it means to media measurement. Madan, a lot of marketers are inquiring about how the loss of the IDFA is going to impact measurement and campaign tracking. We want to bring our perspective to the conversation. What can you tell us? Sure, Trev. Um, on the measurement side, you have to look at web attribution and app attribution as two separate things. Now, web attribution is completely unaffected by the iOS 14 update. Uh, both uh, desktop web conversions and mobile web conversions should be tracked, attributed, reported to you in exactly the same way as before. It's an important point to note. App attribution is affected by iOS 14, but even here, as a marketer, when you look at the metrics uh, and the reporting that you look at on a regular basis, they shouldn't really change. Now, um, app installs and conversions are still being uh, recorded and attributed at the device level, uh, albeit by Apple as opposed to an MMP like Kochava or Apps Flyer, but that's still being done at the device level, and then reported back to you in the same in the same way that you would use to uh, use to get reporting before. Uh, so, if you're an acquisition marketer running app install campaigns and you're looking at, say, cost per install metrics by publisher, ad network, campaign, those metrics are still going to be available to you. Now, there's some. Um, campaign structure limitations that Apple's imposing around uh, a max campaign limit of 100. That's going to force some large app marketers to restructure their campaigns. But net-net, we don't expect anything to change about how you measure your app campaigns, at least in the short term. Interesting. Thank you, Madan. What about the impact on targeting? A lot is changing on the targeting side, Trevor. Uh, first of all, you'll have far fewer IDFAs to upload and target. Uh, when you target on Facebook, for example, you don't know how much of their lookalike audiences and broad audiences are uh, are based on uh, these app signals. Uh, how much of the of a typical ad network's uh, mobile ad network's inventory is monetizable without an IDFA? Uh, all of this is going to shake out uh, over the next few months. Also, maybe the opt-in rates maybe will be healthy, and we sidestep this whole iOS 14 scare. Again, all all up in the air. However. If targeting does diminish markedly, what we're expecting to see is a lot of the media-driven installs and conversions are going to show up as organic installs and conversions in your MMP reporting. Now, this will force marketers to take an experimentation-based approach for measurement so that they can understand, they can decompose how much of those organic installs you're getting reported is actually media-driven and how many of them are truly organic. Thank you, Madan. So it seems there are still some unknowns within targeting. The key takeaway on the measurement side, this is another setback for user level path building attribution and another validation point for cohort level incrementality measurement. Thank you for watching.